Amaranth and Teff are two key novel, potential novel crops that we've looked at in, in the seeding award, BBSRC seeding award awarded to Liverpool. And the reason people would care about it is that they're both producing gluten-free grain. And secondly, uh, they're pre-adapted to future climate scenarios where we expect to have hotter and drier weather more regularly. But even actually in a UK context, TEF is already known from Ethiopian material um, to be waterlogging tolerant. There's pre-existing pre waterlogging tolerance as well in TEF. Um, the key thing about their capabilities being climate um, future proof uh, is that they both undertake a, a supercharged form of photosynthesis called C4 photosynthesis, which is the highest yielding for form of photosynthesis known across all plant biodiversity on the planet. Um, and so that, again, in the face of climate change, higher temperatures, these guys do better at higher temperatures and do better in the face of drought compared to standard crops today, such as wheat and barley or uh, oilseed rape for that matter. So we've been looking, for example, the, they come from Mexico originally and Ethiopia. So the major question initially was, well, there's no chance they'll even germinate at UK temperatures. So here these have been in growth chambers uh, all the way down to four degrees. And this is the TEF germinating beautifully down at four degrees. Um, and so we're already hugely encouraged that we've got genetic diversity here um, that has the potential to be bred to create UK adapted varieties of these novel crops. And then you can see that there's already a huge number of end user companies developing these gluten free products. Um, and amaranth is also used as a, a microgreen in your mixed salad bags that you already buy. Um, it's also uh, sold as uh, these kind of tinier microgreens. <laughs> if I can even open that, I don't know um, where you could actually see it. So I don't know if you, it's like Cress. Um, but restaurants would give you a little beautiful little little tweezed amount of that on your plate to make it look really pretty. Um, so yeah, so uh, the key point being that there's already huge market potential. Obviously gluten free is a big area. Um, and also hopefully they could be grown in the UK when climate change has done its worst. <laughs>